Hey everybody and welcome to another Brie Book Reviews video. So it is now a new month and you know what that means. I will be going over the books that I read in April. I did read a lot in April, but I literally read only one novel and then the rest were all manga. And the one novel that I did read, I didn't finish. I know. I was so angry. I literally have maybe like another hour left of reading to do and I will be done with it. And the last day, yesterday, I was like binge reading that thing as much as possible, but I also had to work all day for Sunday. I had to work, I almost never work on Sundays. So I was like exhausted by the time I got home and I tried my hardest to finish this book. So, but it didn't happen. So I am going to put it as an honorary April read because I just want a novel put into my wrap up. Okay, let's just, let's just get onto it, all right? So let me just go over what that one novel was. I'm pretty sure you guys know that I've been reading this because I've mentioned it a couple times. And that is The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. This is the third book in the Gentleman Bastard series. And just look, 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 this is how much I have left. This is how much I have left. That's so upset. <sighs> I am enjoying this book so immensely. It is probably my favorite of the three. I would probably say if I had to rank them, the three books, I would rank this one as number one, the first book as number two, and then the second book as my third favorite. If you've read this series, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Like all these secrets are getting revealed and we're getting to know more about the main character's past. And one of the characters that are mentioned in both of the first two books that you never ever see is present in this particular book. And I'm really glad to have seen her in this volume because she is one of my favorite characters now. Sarcastic humor is probably my favorite humor to read and this book series is just filled with sarcastic humor. So I just fly through these books whenever I read them. Don't ask me why it took me an entire month to read this, okay? I am in the biggest reading slump of my life when it comes to novels. I can pick up a manga and read it in an hour. And I think that's the problem is I'm like, why would I spend so much effort trying to read all the letters on the pages when I can just pick up a manga and read that like that? And I think that's the issue I'm having right now. So if anybody can give me some tips on how I can get out of my reading slump, because I would really like to make May a novel focused month. And when I do my TBR for you guys, which I'm planning on recording right after this video, uh, you're gonna see all the novels that I'm going to attempt to read. I'm gonna throw in a couple of manga in there, but I am really gonna try and stay away from reading any of it because I'm gonna focus on the novels. Anyways, back to the wrap up. I gave this a five out of five stars. Uh, like I said, I'm not completely finished with it, but it will be done today. So I'm gonna make it honorary April. So on to the massive amount of manga that I read. Um, the first series that I read in its entirety in April was all of the monster series. There's nine volumes. Absolutely loved this. I don't know, I'm kind of tied between this one and Pluto. I liked the twists in Pluto a little bit more than in this one. This one I felt like there was a lot of focus on side characters and maybe the series could have been a little bit shorter. Not complaining though, I still really, really liked this. We have this main character named Dr. Tenma and he is a neurosurgeon. He's dating the daughter of the director of the hospital that he works at and he's kind of being told what to do all the time. The hospital is very politically driven and he's always told to do surgery on all of the rich people rich politicians and to leave the regular people to die and he makes the decision one day that he's not going to do what they say because there's a child that comes in with a bullet wound in his head and he says no I'm not going to do this surgery I'm going to save this child's life. He saves the child's life only to find out later that this child grows up to be a serial killer and he feels very responsible for having saved this child's life in the first place and he goes after this child to try and stop him, whether it's to kill him or try to convince him to stop killing other people is kind of what you find out as the story progresses and you kind of learn about the child's backstory and how he became this way. A really good thriller. 
and if you like thrillers and you're wanting to read a manga but you're not like into like the shonen stuff where it's just like battle action manga this is a really good one to get into and i really enjoyed it i do plan on doing a separate review of this series i also read volumes two and three of finland saga by makoto yukimura this is a manga about vikings and it is so good although i have like i said i've been in sort of a reading slump and i'm in the middle of reading volume four but I haven't really gotten all that far into it, but it's getting so good, you guys. Have you ever seen the show Vikings on the History Channel? I, it is so reminiscent of that because it's, I mean, it's all about Vikings, which that shows about Vikings too, but I really, really enjoy the author's attention to detail. He really, really loves Vikings, and you can tell because he's done his research, and what's really cool is like in between the chapters, he gives you information and history about Vikings. It's just amazing like how much research you could tell that the author went into creating this story and that's what makes it so intriguing. He also somewhat follows history just like the show Vikings. Like it sort of follows real history but with its own fictional story kind of melded in with it. So that's another thing that I really really like about this because I really enjoy Viking history. It's kind of one of my favorites. And so I just really enjoyed reading this and I gave both volumes a 5 out of 5. The next book I read was Queen Emeraldus, volume 1 by Leiji Matsumoto. And I gave this a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It is definitely like an older manga. It has um, very old old style graphics. Um, I forget when this originally was printed. This is a gorgeous hardback edition that I got a while back. I would say the pacing's a little slow, but I haven't read too many manga that are like older manga, and I've kind of noticed with the older manga that I read that the pacing is on the slower side, and I'm not sure if it's like on purpose. Space opera, essentially, about two main characters. We have Queen Emeraldus herself. She's a space pirate and goes around and does her thing and um, people are afraid of her and there's like this huge legend behind her and you do kind of learn about how she became the way she is. And then the other main character is a boy named Hiroshi Umino and he builds his own spaceship and escapes from Earth. I don't know if it's on purpose, like he was enslaved on Earth or not, but um, he is trying to be what she is. You, you kind of see the parallels when it's going through like her backstory and where he is currently and you could kind of see why she likes him. Not like physically likes him like in a romantic way but she relates to him because he's sort of like how she was when she first started and I'm enjoying the story so far. Um, I really, really would like to read Captain Harlick, which is uh, Leiji's other series. Captain Harlick is actually mentioned in this manga, and I don't know if they're just like characters in the same world, and if she appears in that story or what, but I thought it was really interesting that he was brought up a couple times, so I'd like to see how the two are related. Really enjoyed it. Again, gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I also finished collecting and reading the entire Limit series by Keiko Suenobu. This is a survival story about a class of students coming back from a field trip and their bus tips over and they crash into the woods. Most of the students die and with the exception of a handful of, of the students and their it's their survival in the woods and it's kind of like this um, Lord of the Flies type of deal. It deals a lot with uh, student relations and how kids relate to one another, bullying, and I found it really interesting. I did give this a 4 out of 5 stars. I also really like how tiny they are, they're just so cute! With season 2 starting, I went ahead and restarted reading Attack on Titan. This again is a reread for me. I read the first five volumes again. This is by Hajime Isayama. And of course I gave all five volumes five out of five because I really, really enjoy this story. Some people have problems with the later volumes. Uh, I don't have those problems with them. I did read one manhwa this month and that is 
Let Die Volume 1 by Soo Young Won. This is a Shonen Eye series about these two guys who fall in love and it is super depressing and I don't agree completely with this relationship so um, I'm kind of at a 2 out of 5 stars for this and I am going to be reading volume 2 in the month of May just to see if I will continue this. This is a series I've had forever. I have the first six volumes. I know that's not the whole series. The thing is is that this is about nice boy that meets the leader of a gang and they meet because they're harassing this girl and the nice boy saves the girl and in turn gets beat up by the the other main man and his gang and as he's getting beat up the nice boy's like oh he's beating me up and he's scary but at the same time there's something very attractive about him and I'm just sitting there going this guy is beating the crap out of you and you're attracted to him well, it's kind of um, putting a positive view on abusive relationships and I'm not a fan of that so that's why I'm like I don't know about you do I agree with it hell no but it's still somewhat interesting, so I am going to continue and read volume two. The last thing that I read in the month of April is Moto Hagyo's The Heart of Thomas. This is a shonen eye about two boys. I think this is set in Germany, and it is about a boy who commits suicide at the very beginning, so it's not a spoiler. It happens, it's like the very first page, and it says it in the description in the back. He leaves a suicide note in another boy's room, the boy that he has a crush on, he leaves a suicide note. Kind of makes it sound like he killed himself because the other boy didn't love him, and it's kind of a, this whole thing about the other boy that's still alive and his backstory and it's about two other guys. I, like I said in my wrap up for Tome Topples, I sort of think I lost a little bit of what the story was attempting to teach me. I do want to reread this, however, it is a monster of a book and that's why I decided to do it for Tome Topples because I had to read something over 500 pages and it is fi over 500 pages. I gave this three out of five stars, I wanna say, but again, I would like to reread it. I was terribly sick while I was reading this, and I'm pretty sure that is why I missed a lot of what this was trying to tell me. So that is all that I managed to read in the month of April. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these or are interested in reading any of these, and as always, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!